What's poppin' YouTube? So, I'm back after like two months. Hi, how's it going? Did you miss me? Probably not. I am about to hit 10,000 on Instagram. We have some things planned for that. Like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a 10,000 calorie challenge that I'm gonna post on my channel. So that's gonna be coming soon. Uh, and then also, um, I'm taking a picture today for it because I'm not doing a 10,000 calorie challenge today because more people want to be involved in it and it's not gonna work out for everyone today or whenever. So um, yeah, 10,000 calorie challenge coming soon on the channel in honor of reaching 10,000 followers um, on Instagram. And I have a photo shoot today with my colleague. Uh, I don't know why I did it, that was stupid. But yeah, I'm back. Okay, let's go. Let's go eat, let's get some food. Let me fix this camera thing real quick though. See that cleavage though? Oh my gosh. Hey guys, Michael made it. You suck. <laughs> All right, you ready for this photo shoot, bro? Yeah, dude. I'm I'm hyped about it. Sick, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, so I have a friend named Brandon. He has a friend named Solomon. Brandon is Solomon's business partner. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Which is funny because we're best friends and we do a lot of business stuff together. Oh yeah. So. Small world. This is it's kind of funny. What the heck was that? Hold up, should we stop? I think something's in the trash can. I think something's in the dumpster. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Should we look inside? I'm kind of nice. What the freak could it be? Watch it be, well, be like a, a pterodactyl or something. I don't know. <laughs> what should we do? I'm on this one. We're not dumpster diving, I swear. What is happening in there? Something's in there, bro. It's like stuck. There's something moving around in there. I don't know where it's at, though. It just freaked us out. <laughs> we were like walking by. This is Cade Marsh. Hey, bro. Do you see it? No, I don't. I don't see anything in there. Maybe it's just like a rat. I don't know. I work here. Right, Y'all going to the house center? No, uh, we we're yeah. going over to the amphitheater. Well, that was interesting. We didn't see what it was. I'm pretty sure it was like a rat, though. Because it wasn't. It seemed a lot bigger than a rat, though. Yeah, it, it seemed like a dog to me. I thought it was like a raccoon or something, but. Raccoon just smart. I feel like it would have been able to get out of there. Alright, welcome to LSU. It's beautiful. You wanna, take, you wanna do some shots in the forest over there? Yeah, we can take some shots in the trees, bro. Wasn't that sick, dude? All right, focus. Focus. 
focus. There it is. All right, cool. Well, it's not really working. You might need to get down, bro. If you want to talk to the camera. Uh, it's like it's like super zoom. It's fine. Uh, I'll just be over here. All right. So, what are you doing? I'm just looking. Uh, we're we going to the next place. Where are we going next? All right. We just got some sick shots in a library. Actually, a library. I can't speak English. Got some sick shots in the library. Now we're going to some abandoned place. Wait, 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 wait. Because I need to. <laughs> hey guys! That's good. Pretty dope, huh? Just some settings real quick. All right, there we go. Hold on. All right, so we're almost done. We're uh, taking pictures right here. Then we're going to eat Chipotle. And we're going to take some more pictures with this light post here. I think I see Chipotle in your lens there, though. Oh, is it right there? Uh, oh, wow, this isn't Chipotle, bro. Yeah. Oops, this is a really cramped Chipotle, if this is Chipotle. Mm -hmm. I know, it's kind of tight in here. So, I think we're going to take some pictures in here. Okay. Um, and I guess I'm going to actually play piano. Wow. This bad boy's loud. I don't need light on for my camera. So Michael is a much better piano player than me. Oh. Well, we did the I did the transition. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so yeah. look, they got a mirror, dude. My favorite. I love mirrors. <laughs> I already took some selfies. <laughs> Before we go home, we're just gonna film him playing piano. <laughs>
right, on that on that note. <laughs> uh, on that note, we should. All right, we're gonna go home and eat. All right, all right. Mirror transition. Mirror. I don't know how to. You know what, dude? I got this. All right, so. We made it home. I'm going to talk to you guys really quick, but I'm going to change out this whole thing really quick. Alright, I want this thing to focus on me really quick. Looks focused. Yeah. Alright, so I said earlier in the video that I would talk about my show and how that went. And um, basically, leading up into the show, I had this whole like, um, I had this whole video planned where it was like going to be my journey from the time I signed up with my coach uh, to the time I did the show. And like how I went about doing that, like my diet and training and stuff like that. And uh, I basically lost all that footage because my computer decided to crash. So I'm going to kind of explain what happened. At first I was doing really good with my diet, training, stuff like that. And I, I still pr basically stayed on it, even towards the end of it, especially towards the end of it. But um, communication with my coach kind of slowed down. Like I stopped communicating with my coach as much. So he didn't really know how I was looking and stuff like that. Like he didn't know how lean I was. He didn't know, you know, anything. So I kept track of everything, but he had no idea what was going on. Uh, so I would only contact him, you know, like once a week or once every two weeks, which it started off doing once a week. And then the last few, the last month of, uh, right before the show, I was supposed to hit him up like, uh, I believe two times, two or three times a week to let him know how everything was, and I didn't really do that. Actually, like, two weeks before the show, I didn't even contact him at all. I just did my thing, was in my own world, and uh, that's not his fault at all. He's a great coach. But uh, my conditioning towards the end, or my, and my peak week, wasn't as good as it could have been. Again, that's all my fault. So this is what I looked like. Here's the picture, I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, I got really lean, that's very obvious. Uh, but I wasn't as dry and I wasn't very, I wasn't as full as I could have been because I didn't know what I was doing and I wasn't talking to my coach like I should have been. So, um, after that, after all of that work, I, um, rebounded really hard for like two weeks. So, I had like a bunch of zebra crate cakes, a bunch of pizza, and for like two weeks straight. Literally after the first week, after my, right after my show, I gained basically most of my weight back. I, I went from like 137 to 146 right after my show and gained some fat. So it wasn't like a lot of fat, but it was it was a noticeable difference. Like you could definitely tell like my physique from my show to like a week later was, you know, a little like my diet hasn't been on track. It was like one week of dedicated to like one week of screw it, you know, and it was just it was very it was very different. Anyways, that's uh, that's basically what happened. And I'm going to end the vlog, I guess, right here. Okay. Bye!